Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV. I'm getting ready to do another um, HDLRC RMA right now. And I'm actually, you know, with all this time that we've got, and uh, you know, we've, we've been super busy. So I do want to get this out there real quick. First of all, let me give a shout out to my kids. Um, hey guys, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden, I love y'all very much. I am so excited to see y'all tomorrow. We got some Xbox going on, right? Some Fortnite, some Rainbow Six. And well, that's it. We're gonna be doing that for probably the next four days. Um, also, special thanks to my wife, um, Samantha, because she is non-stop supporting this and putting up with me and holy crap the woman just makes it all possible so thank you babe and thank you boys uh, all right so um so here's what i decided like uh you know we've got a ton of time on our hands um my wife and i have just her and i alone uh ryan our our, our guy ryan has been actually on site at the new facility and he's been kicking butt for me so ryan shout out to you too man thank you so much for all that you're doing um, I, we haven't really been able to hang out and see what's going on because we're doing all our distancing stuff, but I wish you and your family the best as well. Same to all of you guys as well. Um, so we've been, we've scanned probably 8,000 or no, uh, 4,000 items doing, we're doing all our inventory before we move to our new shop. And this downtime or this, uh, sitting in here time has allowed me the chance to like, I'm like, you know what? We're just going to start doing our repairs live or not live. I'm going to record them so the customers can see it happening, but it's really cool to watch, you know, right? Uh, for them to at least be able to see stuff actually happening on, uh, see the work getting done. So without wasting more time, uh, I'm going to get into, I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing and, uh, and kind of fill them in on everything as well. So here's what we got. Oops, there we go. Boom. So, um, this is the, uh, original, this is what was sent to me. And, uh, this is actually what's going to be, um, uh, set back out. Okay. Because the poor guy has just had, uh, hold on, let me make sure I've got this going the right direction. So yeah, this is the new one and this is, there we go. Yeah. So this poor guy has just had some bad luck. I'm not sure what happened, but HDLRC and I have, uh, we did spend a couple days, uh, spent some time a couple days ago going over the new RMA policy because some of you brought up to, you know, to the, to my attention that, Hey, you know, you guys are paying shipping both ways when it's a DOA item, dead on arrival or defective on arrival item. And, uh, I talked to HDLRC about this and they were all gung ho, but they were definitely on board. So what we've decided is if you receive an item and it's like, literally you can't use it, right? I mean, like it's dead on arrival, meaning it just doesn't work the minute you get out of the box. Uh, you send it to me, you get the RMA, you send it to me, I send you a new one and there's not even any shipping now. So, but I am going to inspect it, right? Because as much as we love to believe everybody functions on the honor system, uh, the reality is that's not the case. Okay. There are some crooks out there and I, it is my job to do my due diligence to make sure that you're taken care of while also eliminating the douchebaggery that comes from the other guys. That is my word for the day, douchebaggery. And if I had programmed it in this thing, it would be flashing on your screen right now. So let's get to it. Okay. We're just going to do this real quickly. And here it is. I'm, I'm actually going to just swap the drones and I'm going to give the gentleman a brand new drone, uh, but I am going to get the VTX out of here uh, and, um, and, and kind of then start tearing this apart, but I won't tear this apart in this video. Uh, I'm just going to try to get the VTX out or I may just, you know what? I don't even want to do that. I may just install a brand new one because, heck, it's not worth it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Let me do that. I'm just going to install a brand new one. Give me one second. We'll go grab it real quick. And uh, let's see. I am going to get, I believe, uh, let me see what I'm at here. Should be an XM Plus. All right, so I think we're doing an XM Plus. Sorry. Uh, got 100 packages here trying to get this stuff done here's xm plus so i think this is it but he may be using arctisar let me just let me this looks a little big actually so let me let me go what is this one maybe i grab that yeah that's xm plus all right let me just open this up let's just see what we got here okay because we do have there's definitely been some problems with this one i don't know where the assembly was done but apparently it came out of california is what i've been told and there is some concerns i mean hlrc does a darn good job of, of doing their stuff but um i think sometimes maybe there are some resellers or other people that um you know, they're selling it, but it's not necessarily at the HDLRC quality. I don't know. I can't speak for this one except to tell you that this poor guy got this brand new and the cables were missing. And I sent him the cables. I mean, I, you know, I tried to help him out with that. And then next thing you know, it's still screwing up. So I'm just, I just told him, you know what, pack it up and I'm going to get you another one because yours isn't working and you spent quite a bit of money and you, you know, you deserve to have better than that. So let's go ahead and remove this. Um, also, guys, I do want you to know that if you go to the Cyclone FPV website, right, um, and you go into the support or something and you go to the contact page, you, you know, one of the things I want to keep doing is start doing more videos, right? Um, and you can just request a video as long as it's a product I carry. And if it's not, I'll try to buy it. I mean, I have no problem buying something so we can make a video out of it. Um, but uh, if it's something I've got, I'll be more than happy to throw a video together for you. So just please let me know if you need something because we do have a lot of time. And even though I am kind of busy right now, um, 
doing back-to-back -back videos is very easy, and especially if I have the equipment already set up, it makes it even easier. So just think about it. If you need it, by all means. And they're free. I don't charge you, so you know, don't, don't worry about that. It's just uh, if it helps you, it helps other people, and that, that's what it's all about. All right, so enough about that. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. All right, so I'm going to remove the VTX from here. Okay. By the way, this is a... Um, uh, this is the Sector 5, I believe. Oh, no, this is, is this, what did you get here? Hold on a second. Uh, this is going to be the, let me make sure I got the right model. This is the Sector 5 V2 uh, 4S, 4S edition, okay? Now, he got the BNF, and I only have the PNPs, so I'm going to actually pull this one out because, yeah, this, this is, is just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this real quick, and let me see how I want to do that. So here we go. So, and it was not... Uh, the XM Plus, I believe this is the RXSR. So, let me just remove that. All right. It's the only piece because it's already bound. There's no need to put this poor guy through any more headache. So, let's just get to it. Okay, there's that and that. And that and that. Now, if some of you may or may not know, if you go to our website now and you start looking up our frames, you're going to see a ton. Um, we have probably a thousand frames, uh, and I have a ton of quads now from HDLRC and from uh, Beta FPV and from Emacs. And uh, we also have our new line that's coming out. Um, and I just give a shout out to Ivan uh, Efimov. Uh, Ivan just, we just cut a frame for him, uh, and it is, shoot, I don't have it in front of me right now, but. Um, uh, let me see, I may have the 3D printed version, so hold on, let me see if I can grab that. Uh, oh, nope, don't know where I put it, so I'll put it away from time and just come back and finish this job. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to put the video on cutting that frame uh, and, and everything. It was pretty cool. It was really exciting. So let me go ahead and just finish this job here. <sighs> okay, sorry, I have a million things going on, so I'm just trying to get it all in, fit it all in here. Um, and in doing so, I'm losing track of everything, so let me just... But I did, we did a good frame. Uh, I was really excited, he brought it to me. It was designed by a gentleman who I will give, when I put the video online, I will actually give props to the gentleman. And it is his design, it is our cutting. Uh, something that people ask me, you know, about how much does it cost to cut stuff? Well, here, what I want you to understand is, first of all, is the idea of cutting, and you'll see this in the video a little bit, is those of you who know me know that I take my time with it. Um, cutting three, three millimeter carbon fiber, two millimeter, four millimeter, um, it's actually, it can be done in one pass, right? I mean, you can literally, you know, there's, once you do the mathematics into the bit and the, you know, the diameter and the amount of, you know, the amount of uh, flutes on it and so forth, you can program all that in and you can get an ideal cut uh, rate, okay? Um, here, I'm going to take that off. Uh, let's do yellow, red, black. So anyway, so you can, and most companies will cut at one pass. So imagine this, right? So if you're cutting at one pass, and uh, it means that you could probably cut a full frame. Um, uh, let's just say you could cut a full frame in maybe five minutes, okay? If you cut it in one pass, even, even quicker actually, depending on how you do it. The problem is, is I don't like the end result, right? So here's what I do. I use a very small bit, like a one to 1.5, maybe two max bit, right? And which is insane because it's super tiny and they break if you're not careful, which means you have to slow the cut down tremendously, all right? But I will tell you this. If you watch how I do my frames, I do them by hand. Now, well, let me rephrase that. They are cut, I CNC them, and I watch every CNC. I don't just put them on there. I'm standing there, and you'll see me in there. I'm cleaning it up as it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing against the fiber to make sure there's no jagged edges. And then once that's done, um, the, it comes off, and then I hand sand it. And then I uh, run it through a Dremel sanding and buffing. Then I wet sand it, and then I, I, uh, I, I wipe it, clean it, air dry it, or I, I hit it with air can to make sure there's nothing left, and then, and, and then it's smooth, then it's, it's, it's awesome. But what will usually go in one pass um, to, do a, to do a cut, I actually do, it's between usually 12 to, uh, let's see if we, between 12 to 16 passes to get the full cut, which what can usually be done in one. Um, but uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is um, the slower the cut, or the more time you take, the smoother the finish, the better the cut, the more accurate, the less deflection you have. And that deflection being, um, you know, as you're, as you're cutting and 
uh, you know, imagine that you have your, your bit, right? And imagine you, you have your bit and it's like this, right? And so, and I'm, I'm sorry, I know I'm going off topic here, but I do really want to show you guys because it's really pretty exciting. So check this out. So this is carbon fiber here or whatever. Let's just take this DJI box, right? So this is my carbon fiber and I'm cutting, right? So here comes my bit and it's like this. Well, there's automatically gonna be some press, right? Depending on how much distance is left here, you're gonna have some press here and that's, we're gonna have a little bit of deflection either when it moves or what have you. It's going to cause a little bit of pull, a little, it's gonna alter somewhere, right? But if you, sorry, but if you were to just go here and only go down a few, uh, like uh, uh, on a six millimeter or five millimeter, I'll go 0.3 millimeters, 0.25 millimeters per cut. So your times four, that's 20 passes, right? But check this out. You're literally just gonna scrape a little bit each time. And so what you're doing is you're, you're not only removing deflection or you're almost eliminating deflection, but you're literally just taking such a small piece out that you don't have any fragments. You, you know, it's, and even though I'm sanding it, the overall cut, I can tell you that I'm, my, my, tolerance, um, my uh, tolerance for error is huge. Like, I mean, like, I'm, I think a hundredth of a millimeter uh, on tolerance, which is awesome. I'll take that any day. Uh, so anyways, that's, that's, I know I'm kind of going off there, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it's really cool. And I'm, I've taken a break from making frames because Sometimes you just get tired of seeing everybody, you know, like it's all, give me, give me, you know, something cheaper or something, you know, whatever. And I kind of, that needed to take a break and now I'm back and I'm enjoying it. So you're going to see some pretty cool frames coming out and some pretty cool cuts. And uh, anyways, it's just exciting and I'm rambling, but uh... all right, anyway, so this is done. Uh, the, the receiver has been moved over. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to power this up. But my biggest concern right now is I do not want my VTX kicking in because it's probably going to interrupt the video, so let me just go ahead and see if I can uh, pull that for just a second. Okay, now I'll test the VTX after this video is finished, but for right now, I just want to power this up and make sure that we're good to go. So I'm going to use my smoke stopper, which again, guys, this is a great thing to have, so please, by all means, get one from our site if you don't have one yet, and it's just going to save your butt, I promise. So let's go this way. Okay. And then we will go this way to give me a little bit of extension here. Let me power on the AC to DC converter and look at that. So right now I want to make sure that our receiver has power too, and it does. So we're good there. So he'll be able to turn his transmitter on. And since he was bound before, he should be able to just plug it in. Everything else looks good. So I'm just going to go ahead now and pop this into beta flight and make sure that everything is starting up as normal. And if it is, then we are good to go and much farther along than he was when he received it. So let's check that out. Okay, and I will give you guys the computer screen to look at here in just a second. So move this out of the way, and here we go. So let's add our beta flight screen so you can see what I'm looking at. Let me get the computer on here, there we go. Okay, so here's our beta flight screen, and there we go, right? So let's log in. Let's connect, reset. Let me see what he's got. All right, all right, I'm just gonna go to motors here, and I just wanna see the motors start up, make sure that Oh yeah, that's good. All right, so that's working. Let's make sure the motors are in the right spot here. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Okay, so um, everything looks good here. I'll test the rest of it when we're done. When I'm done assembling this right now, I'm just waiting for that hot glue to get a little warmer so I can um, connect this down and be done. So let me go ahead, because what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm just gonna go ahead, and instead of putting it underneath, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount it to the bottom here and, uh, and put some glue there so I can get it to stick because I don't think that's gonna get in the way of anything really, so I think he'll be all right with that. So let me do that. And if he wants to move it later, he can, but let's just do that and try to get going here. All right, let's unplug this now because it's blinking in my face.
I think this print, let me just try again. This print's a little, it's a little different right here. So let me see if I can get this in first. Then maybe this side will go first. It'll be better. So let's see. All right, there we go. Let's get that one in first. Okay. All right, there we go. Now that that's in, let's go ahead and get this uh, mounted here. And we're gonna turn it this way, I guess. That'll work. Okay, so. Excellent. So I would say that now we're good to go. Everything is mounted and clean. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just screw this back down now. And this fix is done. So let's get that out of the way, shall we? And then I'll put everything back together as far as putting the tabs back on. But this thing is perfect. All right. So where are we? Um, where do I put my screwdriver? This is the moment where everything could be sitting right in front of me, literally right in front of me, and I can't see it because I've been doing this all day. So where is my screwdriver, folks? Here it is. All right. Let's knock this out. And we can go this way. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize that we were still staring at the beta flight screen. My apologies. It's been a long day, and I'm just about to wrap it up. My wife's got some awesome dinner. I was talking to a customer today. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, I, I keep the name private, but I will say that as soon as I tell you what he told me, he'll know that I'm talking about him. So he, he says, the, he were, <laughs> we were talking about him, he got some parts, and it was really cool because, you know, I, I love the fact that, I love the fact that, you, you know, I can talk to my customers, uh, you know, there are some really cool customers I have, and, and they understand, like, I don't care, if you don't order for me, like, let's say you're getting something, and hey, you know what, you didn't order it for me, it's so cool, because I, I don't care, like, the idea is have fun, right? And and uh and as long as you're having fun like my god you don't have to buy everything from me i'll try to give you the best deal i can but hey i may not have what you need or whatever and i like when people aren't worried about it They're like hey look what i got uh, and it's really cool so this guy he was cool because he went and he said so the banker um which is his wife he refers to her as the banker and he's like yeah she she surprised me and it was so cool man because this guy you know he his wife got him a surprise by getting him a few things and uh i was really excited for him and you know, um, anyways, it was just cool to see he's starting out. He's, he's three months into it. He said he started in December. He's really pumped. And, you know, he's like, hey, listen, I want to order some stuff, but I'm going to wait. I got to, you know, see what the banker says. And the whole time she'd already ordered it for him. And, and you know, the thing is, is, um, you know, she, she, got, she got it from him as a surprise. And this guy was lit up. And I was like, man, you know, your wife's awesome. That's really cool. So shout out to you. And, uh, you know, it's really nice um, to hear the good stories about it. <laughs> Not the bad stories about how the wife's about to kill you for buying too much FPV gear, which I hear those too. Uh, but anyways, it was nice. it was just a neat little story to see him to see, to hear from him and see him get all excited. Okay, so um, this is it. Now I'm just gonna put the caps on right here, or put the to the ends on right here. That is, and uh, once those are on, this quad is ready to be boxed up and shipped. Everything else tests fine. I will do the VTX testing and plug that back in here in just a second. Uh, but I want to just get this back on so I can show you guys that it's all done. At least the customer can see that too. So there you go. All right, now all I'm gonna do is plug the VTX back in, test it out, make sure the VTX is working good. And this brand new one's out the door, okay? So uh, there you go, guys. It's a simple video. I forgot that I was on the beta flight screen. I apologize, but there you go. And to the customer who's getting this, man, have fun. Fly safe with it, and uh, God bless. Spend time with your family. To all the rest of you, please stay safe, okay? This uh, this virus is serious. 
And I'm hoping that um, at the end of this, uh, we have some stories to tell, uh, hopefully some healing stories. All right, but lots of prayer, guys, and um, spend time with your family. You don't know how much time you have left, so make the most of it, if you will, please. All right? All right, other than that, God bless, guys. Peace, and I'll see you soon. Bye.